All right, hey there guys, Adrian Acosta here, aka JetterBro95, coming at you guys with another video. So today we finally have the long overdue Tyler Lockett gameplay, uh, as well as a couple of other cards for the team, uh, which, you know, I was supposed to do this last week, I think, yeah, last Thursday I was supposed to do this, but sadly, both times I tried to do this, once on Twitch and once on YouTube, my stream kept dropping frames. Uh, and so therefore I could not upload the gameplay, but we do have it now and you know what we're gonna just go with it Oh my god Wow 99 speed 99 acceleration 99 agility uh, Change of direction now the change of direction and I believe the um, Yeah, the 99 change of direction just mainly is because of the uh, sugar rush strategy item which will expire here in two weeks in, No in nine days actually less than that uh, but Lockett is really good. Obviously, you guys know I was really hoping for this card for a while, and I'm definitely going to have this card on the team probably for the rest of the year. As my ho hope is to have end game re my end game receivers be Baldwin, Metcalf, and Lockett, um, because those would just be much easier for the TikToks overall. Um, I know I do have uh, Jerry Rice on the team, and I could play him, but I would rather not since you know he really didn't do much. Neither did Sidney Rice do much of anything for the Seahawks. Uh, for his abilities though guys he does get basically all these like regular buckets are for 1 AP now because they did change it up I believe about a week ago um, They said that they were changing these up uh, and then the last bucket guys he gets short out a uh, short in and deep out elite So for 1 AP you could put on short in and deep out elite if you so chose which I might do that I don't know once I do once DK gets his next card whenever the hell that's gonna be uh, Which I'm hoping is for sugar rush part 2 coming this coming in a couple of days uh, then we'll obviously look to play him, you know, we'll, uh, look to get that extra AP and put it on lock it or something like that. So I believe that was it for the offense of the cards that we had. Um, next we have uh, Bruce, not Bruce, uh, Devin Bush recently signed Seahawk, uh, added him to the team. Uh, now I'm going to say this, I was pleasantly surprised with how good this card actually is. You know, I, I know a lot of people have shit on linebackers this year and I get it, but I would like to take the opportunity to sit there and say, you know what, if you've never used a linebacker, if you don't use linebackers, I think you're doing yourself a bit of a disservice because they are, they do have a place, especially for ones that get free lurker, which I mean, a lot of linebackers nowadays are anyways. So, I mean, it is what it is, but Devin Bush, 99 speed, 99 excel, 99, 98 change of virility, 99 change of direction, which is really good. Like that that is something that I don't think I've ever seen on um on a linebacker card, a 99 change of direction. I think even Bobby Wagner, like his best card that he had in Madden 21 was like 94, 95 change of direction. If I was lucky, if I remember correctly. I, I can't remember at this time. Um but yeah, much like the other ones, much like Tyler Lockett, you know, he does get every single one of these abilities for one AP. And then he does get Lurker and Secure Tackler for free. So I've decided to put on Lurker and Tackle Supreme, which does is Secure Tackler and Unfakeable at the same time. For those of you that do not know Unfakeable, if I could find the damn thing. Um, oh, match, Chuck out. Uh, well, basically Unfakeable just makes it to where you don't... Um, the, the player doesn't get uh, juked out by uh, spins and tackles, uh, spins and jukes and all that stuff very often. So uh, there is that. Now we also have Carlos Dunlap. Now he's a pass rusher in this game, so realistically not much to be said uh, about him. But I mean, 99 speed with the Sugar Rush strategy item, 98 player, 98 finesse move, 98 block shed, 90 play rack. Definitely love him coming off the edge. Uh, overall, I think he's probably gonna be I don't want to say in like my end game edge because we probably could still get somebody like a um, Like a Uchenna to Wosu that could get like really good ability stack, but I think it's gonna be hard to top this ability stack because um, You know he does get two discounted buckets So he does get edge threat elite for the 1 AP in this in these buckets They actually did keep their word on that so all of these are 1 AP for these first three and then the last two for um Dunlap, so you can get pick artist, speedster, goal line stuff for free, as well as secure tackler for 1 AP, which I don't understand because it's 1 AP right in this slot as well. Moving on. And then in the final bucket, you can get under pressure, double or nothing, and no outsider. So I'm rocking edge threat elite and speedster because edge threat elite is double or not is uh, under pressure and edge threat at the same time. So definitely going to have that on the team to help generate a bit more pressure for the defense. Uh, lastly, guys. You know, we have Isaiah Palomau filling in for free safety until Quandre Diggs gets a next card, his next card, which should be very, very soon, may I add. Please. Like, like pretty please. 
Uh, I, I'm I, I'm losing my mind here. Anyhow, so Isaiah Palmout, I mean, he's a great card. He's free, too, if you guys want to go grab him from the uh, Team Diamond Solos. You know, uh, 90, 99 speed, 99 zone, 96 player, 96 pursuit, 99 play rec. Gets every single theme team chem as well, which is also kind of a W. Uh, and he does get uh, secondary position for safety as well. Uh, for his disc for his abilities, guys, much like the other ones, all 1 AP here. And then his free ones, uh, you can get our secure uh, pick artist and enforcer. So I'm rocking pick artist and depot KO on him as he is playing my free safety uh, position. So, so yeah. That is really actually there is one more. We got Jason Myers today, which I mean it's a kicker, but I mean hey, Seahawks finally got their all pro kick, got got their Pro Bowl kicker, which I mean I, I would have liked this to have been a 96 with three ability buckets, but I mean hey, I mean it's a Jason Myers upgrade. But with that being said, though guys, enjoy the gameplay. All right, as we get into the top three, you see my opponents is Michael Vick, Fred Warner, and Justin Jefferson, and then for myself we've got Bobby Wagner, Tyler Lockett, and Devin Bush. So three. You know, two of, the, two of them being Team Diamonds, you know, the players that I want to do gameplays on being in the top three always actually does make me happy. I don't know why. It, I guess it's just because it just feels like, you know, very satisfying. But uh, first couple of plays, we're just trying to, you know, get, this drive definitely was a little, more, bit, a little bit more of a feel out type of drive, you know. Uh, definitely get a sense of what it is he's trying to play with his, like, his zone drops and everything. Because uh, he was dropping a lot of his, like, flats and, and uh, hook zones deep, like, about, like, maybe 10, 15, maybe even 20 yards at some in some ways. Uh, yeah, they were they were playing pretty deep. So uh, yeah, right there. We just take the covered sack So second and 13 after that uh, Just again trying to get the ball down the field We actually do get it over his hooks on linebacker and right before his deep half safety. So Yeah, third and three definitely wanting to convert this thirst first down early I almost said thirst down my apologies So uh, we find Jimmy Graham on the corner route onto the sideline We were hope I was trying to hope to hit Lockett or whoever that was coming over the middle of the field pause uh, but you know, we couldn't get it. He, he didn't get open. So first and 10 we see Jimmy Graham open on the hook a curl on the hooks on the hook So we're just gonna take him there uh, right here, you know first and 10 again uh, Trying to do a little bit of an outside zone with Marshawn Lynch that just gets blown up immediately in the backfield So uh, second and 12 here I do audible to this play right here And as you can see we throw this up to Metcalf and he does come down with the ball You guys see the dancing spider-man on the screen right about now uh, yeah, that is something I'm gonna try to look to add a little bit to the to the videos uh, Some dancing like you know stuff of that nature, which I hope you guys do enjoy because uh, <laughs> Quite frankly, I love these kind of th uh, I like those uh, green screen dancing like you know Spider-Man as well as some other things that you'll probably see here in a little bit, but uh, You know for what whatever first and ten after that uh, run for 11 yards kind of a little weird that he, I didn't get to tackle Devin Bush, but Right here with Big Al Woods, he does plug up the whole pause, and he does get back there to get uh, the at least the, the hold up, so that way Bruce Irving can come in and get the uh, actual actual tackle. Uh, second and twenty, uh, second and thirteen, he does take a hit there from uh, I believe that was Jadeveon Clowney playing the uh, playing the interior pass rusher on the left end. Uh, so third and thirteen here, definitely you know again playing you know playing deep, want to make sure I don't give up everything over the top. Uh, right there, Isaiah Palomalu, as you can see, Palomalu. Uh, you know from the team diamond so those does make a nice play on the ball there uh, for giving us the turnover and a new set of downs uh, from deep inside I wouldn't say deep inside but like yeah pretty backed up uh, in our territory though but uh, second and seven though you know we got three minutes and 20 seconds definitely want to try and get down the field you know maybe make this the last drive of that quarter uh, for some reason though I threw this corner route I think that was a speed out route to lock it I thought for a second like it was man coverage or match coverage. I thought the hook was gonna match, uh, but it wasn't match coverage. So that's a that's an error on my part. Right here, he throws the uh, he scrambles on the pocket, throws a pass that probably should have got picked off there by Sherman. Not gonna lie, that probably uh, should have absolutely been picked off. But first and ten, second and ten goes to a nice run play, gets 17 on the play. So uh, now just like that, he's first and goal. So Jamal Adams, speed coming in, getting the stop in the backfield. I had him on a blitz assignment in that play. So uh, he does get the sh uh, shed, not get the shed. He does get to the backfield pretty fast. Uh, now second and goal here. Uh, for some reason, I don't know who it was, but someone just, my apologies for yawning. Someone just did not cover the flat. And unfortunately he does get the touchdown with Ramondre. Stevenson so it's a bit of a step back drive there obviously want to make sure like I did get some points while keeping the clock in my favor But sadly that just didn't end up being the case as we obviously 
threw an interception. So first and 10 here, though, Avernus headed down to find Jimmy Graham in the flat. He does break a tackle. He tries to fight for extra yardage. I don't think he got a whole lot. Oh, he got three yards. Okay, my apologies. Uh, so right here, play action, uh, you know, play. We're going to try Metcalf on this deep post, see if he can actually get there. And we do come down with the catch, dropping a bomb over the top of the defense for a 70-plus yard touchdown. Like, I think that was a 73-yard TD. I'm not sure. Uh, but dropping an absolute heater for a touchdown uh, over the top of the defense. I'm, I'm, I love this Rams offense, guys. Uh, like, I, uh, like, there's a lot of good offenses in this game, but I think the ones that I've enjoyed the most, more personally, are the Rams uh, and the Packers and the Broncos. But the Rams have so much variety when it comes to, like, play action plays, especially from under center. As you see right here, he tries... Uh, he tried woolen for whatever reason and uh, yeah, that won't be the first time and it won't be the last That's exactly what I was thinking when uh, I saw him try that throw uh, You know, it was just kind of weird. It, I don't know why he um, Again, I don't know why he tried that so but motion on over ball when seeing if I can get an idea for the coverage It ends up being cover three uh, with the with a bit of a deep uh, Deep flat zone drop there. So I just take the out to Jimmy Graham First and 10 here, again, right out to Jimmy Graham on the flat. Try to get some quick yardage and get out of bounds mainly. Uh, that is the ultimate goal here is to get out of bounds to try and preserve some timeouts. You know, right here, we did have a little bit of time. I thought I could throw, I threw the ball away. Probably could have got around his user and maybe got a few yards out of that. Uh, but here we are to third in inches. Uh, definitely trying to go verticals here. I th find the throw to lock it. He doesn't hold on to the ball, which I found very weird. Like he doesn't have a knockout ability on that player. So I'm actually kind of surprised that Lockett did not hold on to the ball. But fourth and inches here, we just give it to the bit to Sean Alexander, and he does give a, he gets us about like 17, 18 yards, I think. Uh, so we take we take a timeout after that. So uh, again, new set of downs. He's only rushing two. We have all day. We find Lockett on the scramble on the um, like the comeback, like not comeback, but like the reroute. Uh, like the route bounce he doesn't get in the end zone so we're actually forced to pass well i shouldn't say forced to pass from the goal line and i have to relive super bowl 49 as i throw a goal line pick instead of just handing the ball off to the running back feel free to put your jokes in the comment section below moving on all right so 24 seconds left in the first half I, I didn't even realize until I think right about now when you just suddenly see me smile on the screen. I think right there is when somebody in my chat mentioned Seahawks throwing a pick on the one LMAO. Like, you, you get it, right? Like, oy vey. <laughs> I, I didn't even think about that until like someone said it. But uh, anyways, first and 10, once again, trying to just get, I, I, I really, you know, a field goal at the, this point would be ideal. Um, not, not, not totally, actually not totally ideal, but definitely like something i want to try you know, like make sure i do get at the bare minimum and we're at best case scenario obviously getting seven here uh so second and two here i try to throw this route but uh he actually was using on deep safety and actually does get back there to pick off the pass and we actually do get him before he could break out for a pick six uh i tried my thought process was get it over the hook zone linebacker aka fred warner and i kind of did but i was not expecting his deep safety uh, which was his user to come over and play that so uh but he just tries to throw up a deep ball to harold carmichael and sherman knock does knock it out uh, uh you know uh, even a tackle there would have been just nice you know just don't even allow the uh you know touchdown because that would have just been so annoying but all right here he tries for a run he gets six yards on it so second and four here going to a no huddle here now obviously you guys know i hate no huddle players i think they're the most annoying that sacks of shit on the on god's green earth in the man community uh them and dollar and meta players you know uh it, it, honestly though if i had to pick which ones are more annoying i would probably say the meta player is more annoying because the no huddle player they just do it to take advantage of your you know, like your lack of a, you know, being able to adjust you know and stuff of that nature but i mean it's not the worst at times like i could definitely handle it a lot more than meta players because meta players just piss me off way too much it's right here you see sherman he does come away with the interception thank god that we had this sugar rush strategy item guys like i would not be able to use this richard sherman right now if he if i didn't have that sugar the sugar rush strategy item or if i didn't have the journeyman strategy item which i'm going to put on the team after that does expire so uh but right here we do take the quick out to baldwin because i thought he was going to do press uh man so but he, he backed off a, quite a bit so uh i just throw the out route right here second and four tried a bit of a misdirection see if we can get uh some blocking on the other side we actually do get break one tackle and we do get about seven yards with lynch 
which brings up a new set of downs. So first and 10, play action here. Again, throwing out to lock it on this on the zig route. You know, trying to get him involved. I would like to get him a touchdown here. Uh, as you see right here, we do roll out with Wilson again. Throw on the run. We get lock it in the end zone for the touchdown, which is why you're seeing the Toby McGuire on the screen right now. Because, uh, yes, we got a game. We got a, get a touchdown with the player that we're doing the gameplay on, which actually... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, that actually is a sigh of relief. Because sometimes when I do my gameplays... Um, when I'm trying to do gameplays for a player, I only really do one on stream at times because, quite honestly, doing multiple, trying to play like three, four games to get one good gameplay, it's just not enjoyable for me, especially with how people play this game. Uh, so I just try to play one, but I mean, my goal is to at least get like a touchdown with the guy. Uh, if it's like a wide receiver, if it's like a quarterback, maybe get like a couple of passing touchdowns or whatever, how you do. Uh, so first and 10, he fight, you know, after that cup, finding that comeback. Uh, comeback route. Uh, again, I think it was against an outside third right here. Uh, he tries to throw up the running back. Bruce Irvin comes over there and break it up. You guys may have, may have not have noticed. Bruce Irvin has been around and about in coverage. Uh, that is actually one thing about Bruce Irvin that I actually really like is the fact that he can roam around coverage, as you see right here. For whatever reason, he tries Tariq Woolen again and he gets picked. I, I, I don't know. I didn't understand the thought process behind that. Like, you're clearly in... Like, you're throwing a ball against the corner with its rolling orange X factor. I don't know. I guess this dude just didn't give it two fucking... Two flying fucks about what he was throwing. Which, I mean, fair. It is what it is. Uh, right here, we throw the Metcalf on the uh, underneath. I think I'll use on a drag route. So now, moving into the fourth quarter here. Uh, definitely, we're trying to... You know, one more touchdown, I think, will ultimately seal the game because like obviously in this game you know you never really know for sure uh if the lead is certain already uh, done but i feel like a third touchdown at this point could very well be the deciding factor as we do hit um lynch out of the backfield off the play action second and two here trying to motion over uh, jimmy graham to see if we can seal off that side there we actually do have a cutback lane uh but i don't take it that's my own fault uh, I sadly didn't take the cutback lane. Uh, so third and one here. This time we just run it right up the middle. He tries a cross loop blitz. Does not get to the contact on Sean Alexander. And we pick up a new set of downs. So here again, one more time. Play action bootleg rollout. Finding Lockett on the crossing route. Sadly, he's not in the end zone. But he does get down to the one yard line. Uh, first and goal here. Hand off to Lynch. You know, I'm not going to make the same mistake I did in the first court on the second half. Uh, just because I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So because just know. Uh, second and goal here. Find the quick flat to Lynch. I try to break the free, but unfortunately, uh, he does get stood up and we're forced to go to a third and goal. But this time we do power it in with Lynch, uh, on the, on the outside zone, uh, run, uh, against his goal line. So, uh, first thing, uh, 10 for my opponent, you know, th this game is essentially over. Like we're just, I just want to make sure I get one more stop before, or at least not give up anything quick down the field. Cause Obviously, you know, being in a, in a game like this, you never really know what could happen, right? At times, like, I'll blow, I almost blew a lead um, with the Eagles theme team down uh, up by, like, two scores because someone couldn't recover an onside kick. And I ended up winning that game on a walk-off touchdown. I think that's a gameplay on the YouTube channel, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but right here, fourth and three, uh, he does complete that catch. So he tries for one more, uh, tries for one more play. Gets the snap off, I think, right about now. Yep, yeah, there we go. So he gets the snap off. He tries to this tight end attack here. Tariq Woolen comes from his outside third and breaks that up. And that would be the end of the game. Ultimately, ends up quitting right about here. As you see, 321 yards, three touchdowns, 82% completion percentage. Uh, did throw three interceptions, which isn't ideal. But I hope you guys enjoyed the Lockett, Devin Bush, and I guess Carlos Dunlap gameplay. Um, you know, sadly, couldn't get it done beforehand, but got it done now. But if you guys do like this video and want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe if you guys are new. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.